here at the Isle of Wight Driving Academy, we're going to be demonstrating another route which is coming down from Towngate. At the traffic lights, we're going to be turning left and then following the road signs towards Cowes and ultimately back towards the driving test centre. So I'm selecting my left hand indicator and I'm just going to be checking all my mirrors again because at this kind of speed we're again quite vulnerable to cyclists and motorbikes maybe trying to filter down. I'm just looking ahead of me and just really just watching everything that's going on. School kids are out now so again there's a bit more people around and if our lights go green that doesn't mean that there's you know, there's not a hazard waiting for me around the corner. So I've selected my gear, I'm checking all three mirrors as I move off. Then once I get around the corner again, I just scan the road first, make sure it's safe. Now I think new road, new mirrors, so I'm checking all my three mirrors. So we're gonna be following the road signs towards the cow's direction initially. So at the roundabout, we're gonna be turning right. So I'm checking my rear view mirror and my right hand mirror, select my indicator nice and early. Now as we approach the roundabout, I'm looking through to my right hand side, it's a bit more of an awkward turn, all cars have turned up at the same time, so I'm just going to let them move. The car on my right is indicating to its left, so I'm making the best effort to get around the disc. Now I can see at the roundabout it's going to be left, so I'm checking my rear view mirror, my left hand mirror, selecting my indicator to go left, and I'm scanning through. Now it looks safe to enter the roundabout and we're going to be joining the slip road for the dual carriageway. Now our slip road is very short, very small, so the most important thing is to be safe and get into the slip road without letting my car edge into the carriageway. Now I'm checking my mirrors, checking my chin to shoulder and I'm accelerating my car fast because I'm joining a 70 mile an hour road. I keep accelerating to get up to a good safe speed and I'm checking my mirrors inside and right because I need to be moving over. So we're going to be heading back towards the industrial estates now. So I'm checking my rear view mirror, my right hand mirror, selecting an indicator and then doing a chin to shoulder check for the industrial estates. I'm into the 40 miles an hour zone at 40. Now I'm going to be moving into the right hand lanes again. So I've done my mirrors, my signal, and now I'm maneuvering my car over into the left hand lane of the two lanes. Now as I'm slowing down, my lights are just changing. So I'm just reducing my gear to a gear two to make the turn. Do my last checks on my right hand side. I'm going to drive over again the white arrow, turn right, and selecting the left hand lane of the two. Now, this is a left designated lane, but I'm checking my mirrors, rear view, and left. I'm indicating left. I'm keeping a little bit of brake on, and now I'm making that mini roundabout. We're looking again for the industrial estates and cross business park, and that's where the driving test centre is located. We're going to be following the road straight ahead. So as you approach it, I'm looking early to my right, but I cannot see a left indicator off the white car, so I'm just going to come to a stop. And they're turning left with no left indicator, which is very helpful. The red car's decided that he's going to indicate correctly, so I'm going to make myself move on. I'm just watching the man on the left to make sure, and obviously the car's overtaking in the cyclist. So that is our route from Towngate, following the road signs towards Cowes, up along the dual carriageway and ultimately back to the industrial estates and the driving test centre.